<laughs> Hello there, Callum. How are you, love? Oh, I've got a little message here for you, yeah. But before I do, I've got a comment on that photograph, Callum. Who the bloody hell got you ready? And you think that makes you look trendy because you've got like a match, a matching piece of thing in your hair that matches your frock. Oh, come on, Karen, for God's sake. That went out years ago, that sort of style. Bloody hell, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let Barbara in the house if she bloody dressed like that. Anyway, I noticed you've got a little dog on your lap there. Is it a lasso lap so? I can't say completely, say, but I'll tell you for why. Because you mightn't believe me here, kid, but Karen, I'm an expert on dogs. I am writing a dog book at the moment, which hopefully will be out for Christmas, so you can get one of your family to buy a for you for a nice Christmas present. I yeah, go to Cruffs every year, and I've judged at a thing called Scruffs. Yeah. Now, that's just for family pets and rescue dogs. Yeah, and I've done that years ago. And the winner I picked only had three legs. <laughs> yeah, but it was a lovely dog. And if you don't believe me, get your little iPad out, or get one of your kids out, and I tell them to look for them. For, um, Dog parlours in Liverpool, and you'll see one there called Mucky Pups. That's mine. For three lovely girls there, three lovely groomers. So if ever you want your head groomer, not not your dog, you you come down and I'll get the girls to do it. <laughs> anyway, says here, uh, Karen, birthday is on the twenty ninth of May. But you know what? You never put how bloody old you are here, though, Karen. You say the little shit. Oh no. But anyway, before the message, I always start off with the song. So are you ready? Ha, 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 let the kettle boil. Here's a little message from old Jim Royal. Doodly-doo, a doodly-da, a doodly-dee. <laughs> Did you like that, Karen? What? You want to do? Russell Bloody Watson, that little shit. He couldn't find his own arse with both hands in, Russell Watson. And you know, not something else. He's a mank. He's a bloody mank, yeah. Anyway, let's see. Your birthday's on the 29th of May, but they haven't said how old you are, see, because you probably haven't told them. And you're from Derby. Now, I remember that. Two things I remember about Derby. One thing is that at one time they had a football team, yeah, and they weren't bad at all either, Derby. And uh, the second thing is when I went there, it was shut. <laughs> anyway, now listen... Last week, you stayed at the Pearl of Press Tatting. The Pearl of Press Tatting, oh. Because you're tight, that's why you stayed there. It's not being tight, it's being careful, isn't it? That's why we stayed there. We weren't tight, we were just being careful. But it had no bloody chip pan. Not a chip pan in a caravan. Never heard of it. Anyway, your birthday is on the 29th of May. Don't say how old you are, but anyway, it doesn't matter. But you stayed at the Pearl of Press Tatting because you're so bloody tight. But it was so bad, Nathan had to book another five-star hotel up the road. <laughs> so, c come on, Karen, you can't be tight, because they look as though you've got a few shilling. Bloody hell. I was going to uh, I was gonna invite you down to the uh, the Oil Feathers with me and Beverly Macker and, uh, and Barbara, just for a few little drinks, you know, the game. And I give a song on the karaoke, oh, in the feathers. Got a great karaoke. I get up and sing, Here in my heart I'm alone and oh so lonely. And you want to hear the women shouting, shouting, Get off your soft sod, get off your crap. <laughs> and I don't mind because I know secretly they're saying, Oh, Jim, oh, Jim, what a voice. I wish I could spend the night with you. And that's exactly what you think, Karen, when I, you and you hear me singing. In front of live, live anyway. So anyway, uh, don't be so bloody tight now, uh, Karen. I know we've all we all know you've got a few shilling bloody stacks stashed away somewhere, and it's it. Uh, and I want you to look after uh, Nathan and Jason because they're two nice lads, and um, well, they can do it a few, Bob. You know, and the Watson family, the whole Watson family, and uh, so don't be going now. Don't be like a miserable little shit and, and spending it all on yourself. Think of Nathan and Jason and the Watson family and spread it round. And if you are spreading your money round, you could put a couple of bob in my way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I, then I'll, I'll take you to a holiday place. Yeah. It is the Pearl of Prestatton, but the caravan we've got on the Pearl of Prestatton has got two chip pans. <laughs> So listen, Karen, don't be a little shit. I'm going to finish off with this. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Karen Chipan. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so thank you to the Watson family, for Nathan and Jason, for showing me that money doesn't mean everything. <laughs> God bless you all. All keep safe.